The problem from this video can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link and you can download a copy of this and all of my problems for yourself. Now, if you check the website and you click on videos, you'll see there are more videos than those I've listed publicly on YouTube. You can see that there's uh, every problem covered in the workbook has either a public video or a members only video. If you'd like access to the members only video, just click the join button beneath the video player on YouTube. All right, let's jump into the problem. Let's take a look at problem 12A from our accounting workbook. This problem has us identifying accounts. So in our very first video, we explained what is an asset, a liability, a shareholder's equity account, revenue, expense, dividend, what are they? What categories are they? What does it mean to be an asset? These types of things. This video has us flexing those muscles. So we're gonna go down our list for each account. We're gonna say, is it an asset? Is it a liability? Is it shareholder's equity, revenue, expense, or dividend? And further, if it's an asset or liability, and many of these will be, is it current or long-term? Now we haven't discussed this yet, current versus long-term. A current asset is one that is expected to be liquidated or we're expected to use it up within one year, one year or less. So uh, an example of a current asset is inventory, right? Walmart expects to sell through any piece of inventory in less than a year. So Walmart's inventories are current assets. Cash, we're constantly moving. It's very much considered a current asset. Now, if I go back to the Walmart example, I see that they have, um, at my Walmart, they have like refrigerators where they sell stuff out of the refrigerator, like that refrigeration equipment uh, that keeps stuff cold. That is an asset of Walmart, but it is long term, right? Those refrigerating units where you might buy milk from, uh, that is, you know, is going to last them years. That's a long term asset. And so we can do the same for liabilities. I have a phone bill. That's a current liability. I got to pay it in 30 days. I have a mortgage. That's a long term liability. It's going to take me 30 years, right? So one year is our distinguishing line between current and long term. Okay, I've rambled long enough. Let's get started. We just worked it our way down the list, identifying it and uh, as asset liability, shareholders equity, revenue expense or dividend. And is it current or long term? So uh, number one, long-term investments. This is something we can own or control that would be good to own or control. This is an asset. It even says in the name long-term. Well, there's our dead giveaway. It ain't current. Now we can have current investments, right? I can buy and sell stocks and shares that I'm planning to hold for a week, a month, a couple months. It can be current. In this case though, it's identified as long-term. So it's gonna be, we're buying for the long run here. Accounts receivable absolutely an asset. It's when somebody owes me money and, you know, it's part of normal business. And so if somebody owes me money, a customer I've done work for, I've given them a bill, they haven't paid the bill yet. That's a typical account receivable situation. They're going to pay me in usually 30 days. Certainly 99% of customers are going to pay in less than a year. This is a current asset. Let's see, uh, consulting revenue. Well, it's got the word revenue in it. It is the company doing what it does to earn money. It's a revenue. Rent revenue, same thing. It's a revenue. Not noted as current or long term. It's assumed it would have been earned in the last few months, maybe the last month or 12 months, depending on the time period we're looking at. Computer, that's an asset. And yes, computers go out of date quickly, but still one would expect a computer to last more than a year. So I would call that long term liability oh sorry i should say mortgage payable is a liability if it's got the word payable that's a dead giveaway for a liability if it's got the word receivable you should be thinking asset mortgage payable is a liability and it is a long-term liability my mortgage is going to last 30 years salaries payable those are liabilities it's having to pay your employees salaries unpaid salaries they're not going to put up with you for not paying them for a year. They won't be your employees. They'll be suing you. Uh, and so therefore this is a current liability, not a long-term one. Cash is considered the most current of current assets. Supplies is indeed an expense. Retained earnings, we said, or supplies expense is an expense. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Retained earnings, we said was one of our two shareholders equity accounts. It's the company choosing to keep profits within the company. And, uh, uh, there's, it's the account that tracks that. Temporary investments, asset. The word temporary indicates to me that it is current or short term. Accounts payable, 
liability. Think of your phone bill when you think of accounts payable. And when I think of my phone bill, I think 30 days. So current. Income tax expense, that's an expense. Uh, car is an asset and it is a long-term asset, right? It'll last you more than a year. Salaries expense is an expense. Utilities expense is an expense. Land is an asset and it's a very long-term asset. It'll be here long after we're dead. Well, maybe after you're dead. My head's going to be frozen in a vat somewhere, so I'm going to live on for a long time. We'll leave that for another discussion for another day. Inventory, asset, and it is current. Building, asset, long term. Interest expense is indeed an expense. Bank loan payable, liability, it's not clear here whether it's current or long term. In most intro accounting classes, assume a bank loan is long term unless it tells you otherwise. So let's assume long term unless it says something else. Common shares, that is shareholders equity. We don't need to know whether it's current or long term. Supplies, well, if I think of office supplies, like I got some post-it notes right here. If I think about post-it notes, these are assets. They're things we can own or control that would be good to own or control and they are current. Um, so we've answered the question, but sometimes when I do this in a classroom, students will call this out. They'll say supplies, expense or expense, but supplies are an asset. What's going on here? Like what, isn't this like kind of the same thing? Like what's going on? Uh, and so I just want to explain this. If you don't feel like you need an explanation, fine, skip to the next video, but just a brief explanation on like, this is supplies, but what is supplies expense then? So if my university, let's say they bought a thousand dollars worth of these sticky notes, right? And they put them in a sticky note cabinet. And so they have supplies, right? They have a thousand dollars worth of sticky notes. That is an asset. They own and control a thousand dollars worth of sticky notes. Months go by, and of course us professors are like vultures circling around the supply cabinet waiting for a new order to come in and grab supplies for ourselves. Uh, we, we look at the supply cabinet a, a month later, and in that supply cabinet that used to have $1,000 of sticky notes, the vultures have circled, and now there are only $100 of sticky notes left over. Well, we have $100 worth of assets, right? If we're the, the company here, we have $100 worth of assets. We have $100 worth of sticky notes. That is my supplies asset. That is this one. Uh, what about supplies expense? Well, supplies expense is the amount of supplies I've used up in a given period of time. And so from the, the perspective of the company, they've used $900. They had $1,000, now they only have 100. Their supplies expense for that period is 900. It's the amount of supplies they've used up over a given period of time. So it sounds similar, supplies the asset and supplies the expense, but it is different. Supplies the asset, how much physical stuff do I have? Supplies the expense, how many dollars worth of supplies have been used up? Okay, I hope that was fairly clear. This is, again is chapter one, module one. We really explore this concept in chapters two and three of the course, but it's good to have sort of that, the, we've primed the pump now, right? When we get to it in module two or module three, you're gonna be ready for it. Okay, stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.